Welcome to a special W07 launch show. We are back in business at the Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona, and I'll have more on that for you later. But first, coming up on today's show, we show you the bits you might have missed during launch week as we go behind the scenes. We explain the difference between last year's car and the W07, and I catch up with Lewis and Nico before they put the new car through its paces out on track. On Monday, Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg unveiled the W07 in the pit lane at the Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona. Now though, let's find out what the team and drivers were up to ahead of Monday's big reveal. Let's go behind the scenes of Launch Week. As I mentioned at the start of the show, the new W07 car has now been revealed. It's the eighth Silver Arrow to compete in Formula One and the latest in Mercedes-Benz's racing history, which began in 1934. Now, what do you think of the new car and its livery? Why not comment below and tell us? There haven't been that many changes to the technical regulations for 2016, but one thing you might have noticed from our engine fire up video is the new tail type and wastegate configuration at the back of the W07. Here's Andy Cow to explain why F1 cars this year might just sound that little bit louder. The exhaust tailpipe regulations have changed for 2016 um, in an attempt to increase the noise coming out of the back of the car. This is following a piece of work that the FIA did to analyse the acoustics inside the tailpipe of the F1 power units. If I draw on this piece of paper a very simplified turbocharger housing, which is fed from the exhaust gases coming from the primaries on each side of the engine. Those exhaust gases drive the turbine and then the main exhaust gases exit out the back of the car through a large diameter tailpipe. Now to control the speed of the turbocharger, there's a wastegate, which is a pipe that bypasses the turbine housing and is controlled with a valve. The regulations previously insisted that that waste-gated gases are teed into the tailpipe to avoid any mischief-making with those gases going to the rear and any aerodynamic benefit. Now the FIA analysis showed that having that side branch on the main tailpipe was causing um, a silencing effect on the noise going through the tailpipe. So for 2016, the regulations had changed such that this pipe must go to the rear of the car. So the wastegate pipe goes to the rear of the car and the key change is that now this side branch isn't there. So that the main tailpipe is a continuous pipe going all the way to the rear of the car and the noise coming out of the turbine is looked after and it's a nice clean straight through pipe. Everybody is excited for the new season and Lewis and Nico are no different. Before they headed out to Barcelona, I caught up with them and asked them to fast forward to the end of the year and to choose three words they hope will sum up their 2016 season. This is what they said. So just one word, please. Flabbergasting. At the end of the year, I, I don't really know. It's difficult to pick out three words, but um, if people are looking back at the season or, or say, uh, using three words to describe my year, it should say Drivers World Champion. Hmm, let's revisit those words at the end of November. Now you might have seen Nico unboxing his new team kit for 2016 on the channel and we're going to have lots more insights like that coming soon. We'll be talking helmets, driving positions and steering wheels, so keep an eye on the channel for that. That's all for this special launch show. I'll be back soon as we get closer to Melbourne. <laughs>